All right, so it's been about one week since this uh, this Vegas shooting, and apparently there's like a whole bunch of other uh, YouTubers and people that are getting censored. Um, my friend actually just sent me an article, and uh, I'm, I'm gonna I'm gonna read it to you right now because there was another YouTuber that that got censored after his video went viral, and his his video got like way more views than mine. Um, you know, I tried to upload my video three times about. Um, about the these shootings being linked to MK Ultra and the government mind control, um, I uploaded it twice. It got removed. The first upload had over fifty thousand views. The second upload started getting thousands of views really quickly, and it got removed. And then, actually, what I did is I re-edited edited the video, and I actually blurred out. There was like a photo of like um, like some of the the dead people at, at the concert. So I was like, okay, maybe they're just censoring it because there was some graphic content. So I actually blurred out the, um, the, that part of the video. I blurred out any of the graphic content and re-uploaded it. And then that video that I re-uploaded got like 15,000 views the third time pretty quickly. And then again, um, YouTube removed it and gave me a strike on my account. And then, um, I'm going to show you a, a couple more things. Uh, first, one of the Instagram accounts that I follow, there was a slip up on, on the news. Um, uh, let me find it really quick. Hang on. Okay, this is this is actually Billy Carson's account uh, at Forbidden Knowledge. If you don't follow this guy, um, he drops knowledge bombs. You got to follow this dude. Let me show you the, the slip up on the news here. Some have theorized that at least one was used by the government, uh, the government rather. Some have theorized that he got a large enough room to be able to have two shooting angles, two. Used by the government, uh, the government rather. Some have used by the government, uh, the government rather. Some have used by the government, uh, the government rather. Some have. Did you hear that? They call it a Freudian slip. On the hallway, those windows have theorized. Man, that reporter's that that guy's probably fired. He's never going to work for them again. He straight up said used by the government on freaking on MSNBC. <laughs> okay, and then my buddy just sent me this article. YouTube uh, tweaks search algorithms after Vegas conspiracy goes viral. I'm going to read a little bit of this to you. In Silicon Valley's ongoing crusade to make sure that you only consume mainstream media propaganda, you know, because $100,000 worth of Facebook ads crushed Hillary's campaign and changed the course of human history forever, YouTube has joined the likes of Facebook and Twitter in saying that it will promote more authoritative sources in search results going forward. All of which, once again beg the question of who gets to determine who is an authoritative source. As the Wall Street Journal points out today, YouTube searches for Las Vegas shooting earlier this week include a video from End Times News Report with the title, Proof Las Vegas Shooting Was a False Flag Attack. Shooter on fo fourth floor. The video created by Jake Morphonius, who posts YouTube videos in his spare time, quickly went viral and amassed over 1.1 million views in just 27 hours. But all that changed when YouTube decided to censor uh, Morph Morphonius' content and replace it with mainstream media, media videos, you know, for your protection. So they're censoring everyone. Um, YouTube's fucked, man. You can't even post shit on YouTube without it being censored anymore. Um, there are some alternatives coming out. You know, uh, like decentralized social networks, decentral decentralized video hosting sites. And I actually posted on my Facebook account... Um, I, I posted on, on, on my account that my YouTube videos were getting censored. And some other people shared some different alternatives. Let me, uh, let me find it. Hang on. Uh, 
Oh, okay, right here. This this status update I posted. I said YouTube has been censoring my videos. We need to make a decentralized video hosting platform to battle censorship. Anyone know of any companies working on this? And um, you know, my uh, Facebook friends on here listed off a bunch of different different ones. Um, Vimeo, Wistia, Sprout Video, DTube. Um, FutureNet, which is a, a, actually another social network that, that's based around Bitcoin and decentralized money. Um, Steemit. Steemit is another decentralized social network that can't be censored. You know, all that all that stuff is built around blockchain technology. But, you know, I think as, as uh, we move forward with technology, even, you know, eventually like YouTube and stuff like this, it, it's, it may phase out and we may start using more decentralized uh, decentralized sources for social media and they, because if it's decentralized it can't be censored or controlled so but yeah fuck all that shit fuck this government dude this country's fucked people need to stop using the dollar Pull, I've pulled almost all my money out of the bank and I'm keeping all my, my money in bitcoin where a decentralized money where no one controls it except for me because I'm the only one that owns the private keys aside from that I bought this fucking AR-10 so I don't want to be living out here without a fucking gun. I'm going to be buying a bunch more fucking guns. Bitcoin and guns. Fuck this government.